Hey, it's Tony, Talking Car Biz. Hey, in today's vehicle video, we have a 2022 Toyota RAV4 XLE all-wheel drive hybrid. Blueprint's the color on this one. Today's video, I'm going to go ahead and dive inside and check out all the great interior features on the XLE edition. And uh, then be sure to check at the end for a link to the exterior. So let's go ahead and get started inside and check it out. Let's get started here on the uh, driver's door. Now this one has the black uh, and gray combination interior with the cloth interior. So the upper door panel is going to be this light gray soft tech fabric. It's a nice padded armrest. Love the uh, silver trim here matching the silver door handle. We've got auto up and down on all four windows. They're backlit switches, power door locks, power mirrors here. And then down on the lower part of the door here is where we find uh, a bottle holder, a little pocket, and the one of the speakers. It actually reads uh, RAV4 on here. And then the pattern on the speakers right here matches the pattern on the seats. So Toyota does a nice job with attention to details like that. Here on the dash, there's four of these vents just like this. You got up, down, left, right, on and off, and then more of the light gray soft tech. There's actually a stitching in here, kind of a bronze color stitch, and you can see that runs all the way across over to the uh, dashboard and then over onto the passenger side as well. Take a look at our uh, seats here. We've got a full power seat on the driver's side with power lumbar support. Passenger side's gonna be manual. And then this is the light gray cloth interior with the dark gray uh, inserts and the pattern that you see here, hopefully you can see it. It's the same pattern we saw in the speakers on the doors. Headrests are height adjustable as well as the uh, seat belts as well. We do have side impact airbags. They're actually mounted in the seat. So the airbags move when you move the seat. And of course we have side curtain airbags as well all the way around. A Little bit of a storage compartment here. We've got some switches down here and these are gonna be for dimmer switch for the la dash lights, automatic high beam on and off, electronic rear window or front window de-icer, that's an extra charge, heated steering wheel also an extra charge, power lift gate here, and a tilt and telescoping steering wheel. Let's go ahead and jump in the driver's seat and check it out. So here behind the wheel of the uh, RAV4, I've got my camera pretty much touching my nose. And I wanted to do that so I can show you the visibility up front and just how spacious the front of the uh, RAV4 is. It's not as small as you would think it is. Also, I've got the uh, driver's seat all the way back and I wanna show you how much leg room there is. So for me, with the seat all the way back, I can't reach the gas pedal. So it does go back quite a ways if you're a six footer you should be good to go steering wheel on this one leather wrapped steering electronic steering this does have the heated steering wheel which is part of the uh, extra charge package left hand side controls for the information center which is up here bluetooth connectivity for your smartphone voice activation and radio station or volume for your radio chrome toyota badge driver side airbag more of that silver trim we saw over here on the door. The uh, cruise control is now right here. It used to be down here, but they moved it up. Also got rid of the temperature controls on the steering wheel, so you can control those over here. Dynamic radar cruise control settings, uh, lane departure on and off, and then you can change the radio stations right here as well. Wiper controls up front intermittent wipers and then rear wipers are intermittent as well with washer controls of course and then over here on the left hand side these are our headlight controls we've got auto on and off also auto high beam and one of the things they have a, they have a kind of a three three click feature i call it so if you just tap this once it'll it'll blink the light three times to let people know that you're changing lanes and then turn off automatically or you can drop it all the way down for a fixed uh, indicator, if you will. Take a look at our gauge cluster up here. Um, so this is the hybrid. And so there's these silver rings around both sets of gauges. And this one does have the smart uh, keyless entry system. So you don't need to take your key out of your pocket. There's a push button start down here. We'll go ahead and put our foot on the brake and start it up. So you can 
can't see it. So the gas engine may or may not come on depending on whether the system thinks it needs uh, the gas engine, but it might come on while I'm speaking. On the left hand side is our charging system for our hybrid system, our automatic temperature, or our, I'm sorry, our engine temperature. There's a trip meter reset here as well. Then our information center in the middle, a speedometer and fuel gauge over there on the left. It's kind of a backlit white on black with uh, blue uh, gauges. The information center in the middle here, you can see there's lane tracing assist, pre-collision, blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert, road sign assist, outside temperature, a digital clock, and you can toggle through the settings for that right here on the steering wheel. So you can personalize that for your liking. You just go up here and you can kind of just toggle through digital speedometer, cruise control, trip meter, so you can really set it up for your own uh, particular liking. Heading over to the center, here we've got a seven inch uh, touch screen. It's kind of a tablet style, stands up straight. It doesn't obstruct your view and it's easy to see. I will say it's not the most um, clear or high end touch screen. Uh, but it does have some nice features in here. So we've got AM, FM, Cirrus, satellite radio, Bluetooth connectivity, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Alexa compatible. Head on over to the menu. We've got audio, phone, a small app suite, and then a projection feature. Um, and then as far as mapping goes, it's a navigation app that can be installed. Um, this one doesn't have that. Uh, this is your standard sound system. It's pretty good. Most people will find it perfectly fine. If you're an audiophile, you might want to update um, to the uh, JBL audio system. There's four of these vents across the front with your four-way hazards. And here's more of that dashboard with the Softec fabric stitching. That's actually thread stitched into the dashboard, so it is sewn on. And you can see more of that silver trim. We've got a passenger side airbag here, and of course the driver side airbag. Take a look at our, our heating and air conditioning system. So on the XLE, we do get the automatic air conditioning. So we can go ahead and hit that. Front driver, front passenger, individual settings, front window defrost, rear window defrost, which also heats up the outside mirrors. And then we've got this on off switch right here. It's pretty interesting. What that does is it turns off the heating and air conditioning to the passenger side to hopefully save you a little bit more fuel economy. It's minor, but Toyota's always trying to get better gas mileage. As we head down the uh, center stack, before I get there, I want to show you the backup camera. So I'll go ahead and just switch into reverse. There's the backup setup. Um, I will tell you, it's probably not the brightest screen I've ever seen from that perspective. Um, it does not have path projection, so if I turn the steering wheel, it does not predict the path I'm going on. But it, it, it does the job. I think Toyota could have did a better job with that and maybe put a new unit on for 2023. Heading down uh, further on the uh, center console here, there's a storage cubby right here. There's also 12 volt and a USB port right there as well. This is not a wireless charging part. It's just a place to throw your odds and ends. And then we have, uh, as I mentioned, a CVT automatic transmission, electronic parking brake, parking brake hold, trail mode. Trail mode changes the way the, uh, the vehicle responds when you're off-road. So I'll just go ahead and push that. I want to show you up on the gauge cluster. There is a visual. So it reads trail mode right here and then kind of a rocky animation down there. If I turn it off, you'll be able to see maybe a little bit better. But that's your visual indicator on trail mode. And then we do have the eco, uh, eco normal and sport. So normal mode, you just press there. That's going to change how the transmission shifts. Eco is going to help you with your fuel economy and sport is going to make it uh, shift a little more responsive. Um, so there's a visual indicator on this as well. So I'll switch in the normal and then go up back up here and you can see your gauge cluster is just a uh, plain screen. When I go to eco, notice it turns uh, green. And then when I go to sport, everything turns red. So you do have a visual indicator on that. And then when I tap right in the center, it all goes away and now I'm in normal mode. EV mode right here. This is designed to be able to 
Um, use the electronics in the car when you're parked without letting the gas engine run and it's it does work at very slow speeds like if you're backing out of your driveway love the silver trim and the overall flat black finish across here looks pretty nice and this is all padded and soft two cup holders here and then our armrest is here padded armrest room for two arms stationary so it doesn't slide back and forth when we pop it open we have a nice storage area down here and then two backlit USB-C uh, power outlets right there. Let me see if I can turn off my light so you can kind of see them. It's kind of a pale blue. So at night you'll be able to see if they're plugged in under there or if you try to plug something in. Now this one does, as I mentioned, have the cloth interior. Height, height adjustable headrest and seat belts are standard. Passenger assist grip, side curtain airbags. We do have lighted vanity mirrors on both sides. Visors pop out with visor extensions on both sides up front. Our, uh, there's a little storage uh, tray right here. And then we have a locking glove box here. Nice size glove box. Does not come with floor mats, but um, I recommend ordering the all-weather floor mats. They're super good quality and really help keep the interior floor clean. This one does have the power moonroof part of the package, which includes the power lift gate, and it has a visor, opens up, slides up, pops up, glass. Pretty nice sunroof. If you like sunroofs, might be the way to go. Then overhead, we've got a few switches up here. So reading lights, door lights, moonroof controls, and then this is your SOS button uh, for roadside assistance. So Toyota Care comes with this. So if you need help out on the road, tap the button. Toyota will get you some help and uh, such. They won't provide help if you get stranded off-road, though. So just keep that in mind. Also, we have a sunglass holder here and then a standard day-night mirror with the switch here and there's no compass and there's also no garage door openers in the day night mirror there let's go ahead and switch these off so that pretty much covers the driver's compartment let's uh let's go ahead and jump in the back seat and check it out here's a quick look at the driver's compartment from the back seat really nice spacious driver's compartment up there and of course this has that power moonroof as well here in the back seat, we've got vents down here, two vents, no temperature controls, and then two USB charging ports down there. There's a pocket on the back of the passenger seat, none on the driver's seat. I did want to show you the legroom here in the back seat. So behind the driver's seat, I've got this seat about mm, a third of the way forward, and you can see how much legroom there is here. So there's plenty of legroom in the back. I know you could fit three adults comfortably for a short trip, three kids, no problem door uh, is set up similar to what we saw up front with the silver trim silver door handle backlit switches lighter upper panels i like the lighter interior personally because it makes the vehicle feel so much larger inside a lot of people say well it shows the dirt i always say well if it shows the dirt then you know your car is dirty if it's a black interior you probably need to clean your car more often Passenger assist grip, uh, laundry hooks there, overhead reading lights, height adjustable headrest, three seat belts back here. There's a folding armrest here with dual cup holders. Boom, boom. Pops in and out. There's child safety seat anchors. These seats are really great because you can fold them down from sitting in the seat. So this is going to be your 60% fold down right here. And then you'll notice here on the back of the seats, the tethers for the child safety anchors. And then you can also access the back seat from here. So these seats are really easy to fold down. The other thing about these seats is they recline. So right now it's in the upright position. If I pull up on this handle, I can drop it back another two inches, recline, take a nap, and enjoy the ride. So a lot of room back here. Definitely two adults, three kids, three adults for short rides. A lot of headroom, legroom, shoulder room. Nice ride. Let's go ahead and check out the trunk. Heading inside the uh, XLE Edition RAV4, the, uh, this is a lift gate on the back, and this one does have the power lift gate, which is an extra charge. Uh, but it does have a really nice big opening, largely unobstructive, unobstructed, nice low lift over height, so it'd be easy to get heavy things in and out. 
The XLE edition does come standard with the retractable cargo cover here, which is also removable. Super easy to take out. Just grab it right here, pull on it, and away you go. And this can also stow behind, underneath the floor there. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to take it out. I want to show you underneath the floor here in just a second. I'll set that over here. Now, these are the uh, factory all-weather floor mats, and they uh, are an extra charge on that. So heading back inside, the floor is, is quite low and nice and flat. And you can see I've got the seat folded down there, so 60% folded down. Of course, you can drop 100% down. It's possible to do it from here if you have long arms. So you can just do it like so. But if you have short arms, you're going to want to go up and come through the uh, door there. But take a look at how much cargo room there is there. I think you could get a single air mattress in here if you wanted to do an overnighter. You could do that. There are uh, tie-down hooks in all four corners. There's a light here, car a little bit of storage compartment over on this side here. Here's another cargo hook and a USB, or I'm sorry, 12 volt outlet right there as well. And then as far as the cargo area, this opens up to expose our temporary spare tire, our jack. There's room underneath here for jumper cables and emergency equipment as well. And then there's a really great feature I want to show you about this. So this is hard on the hard plastic on this side here and let's see if I can do it with one hand so you can pull this out like so flip it around and then you can put it back in upside down and it's a little track that goes down lower so let me see if I can get it in there one hand it's easier to do with two hands of course but I've got a camera in my hand so once I've got it in that track then I just slide it up in there and now I've got a nice solid surface. So if you have something messy like gardening tools, great way to do that, but also you pick up about another two inches of height in the back. So super easy to pull out of there. And then as I mentioned, this is a power lift gate. There's some assist handles right here if you don't have the power lift gate. And then you can just tap the button right there and down it comes. Quick and easy. There you go, that's the uh, interior overview on this 2022 RAV4 XLE hybrid all-wheel drive. And that's a mouthful. Hey, if you liked the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. If you have questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. Feel free to share it out. And then at the end of this video, make sure you watch the uh, exterior overview. That's where I'm going to walk around the outside and tell you all about the great outside exterior features. And I'll pop the hood and go under the hood as well. This is Tony, Talking Carb is. Thanks for watching.